Hello friends, in today's math video, I will be covering fractions. Our agenda for today is what are fractions, types of fractions and in triodes, I will give you some examples and we will discuss its applications. Before we get started in our session, let's see what are fractions. A fraction is many parts of a whole. It means it helps to divide a whole into number of parts. The fraction are denoted by slash that is written between the two numbers. Fractions have two numbers. The numerator, number of parts on the top and the denominator, whole at the bottom. For example, 1 by 2 is a fraction. Okay, how do you write 5 of 6 pieces? When they are asking 5 of 6 pieces, it means they are asking 5 divided by 6. But you shouldn't use the division symbol here. You should use the slash symbol whenever you are writing fractions. So the answer is 5 by 6. Okay, now let's see the types of fractions. Proper fractions. Improper fractions, mixed fractions, like fractions, unlike fractions, equivalent fractions, and decimal fractions. Okay, now let's look at each type of fraction clearly with examples. Proper fractions. Fractions where the numerator is less than the denominator are called Proper fractions. 3 by 4, for instance, is less than 4. 3 is less than 4, so it's a proper fraction. Improper fractions. Fractions where the numerator is greater than the denominators are called improper fractions. Like fractions. Fractions that have the same denominator are called like fractions. Here are a pair of numbers 3 by 7 and 5 by 7. If you observe very closely, both of them have the same denominator. Both of them have the denominator as 7. So this is a like fraction. Unlike fractions, fractions that have different denominators are called unlike fractions. For instance, 3 by 7 and 5 by 6 are unlike fractions because 7 and 6 are not equal. Let's look at the fifth type of fraction, mixed fraction. A fraction which has a whole number and a proper fraction combined are called mixed fractions. 2, 3 by 7 is one such instance because 2 is the whole number, 3 by 7 is the proper fraction and when a whole number and a proper fraction is combined then it is called a mixed fraction. Equivalent fractions. Fractions that have different numerators and denominators, but the fraction values are very same. 1 by 2 and 2 by 4 have different numerators and different denominators, but the values are equal because when you cross multiply, for instance, 1 multiplied by 4 is equal to 4, 2 multiplied by 2 is equal to 4. 4 is equal to 4, so they are equivalent fractions. Let's see. Decimal fractions now. One minute. Let's see decimal fractions now. Fractions whose denominator is 10 or powers of 10 are called decimal fractions. Whenever you need to convert a decimal or a fraction into a percentage, you always have the denominator as a hundred. 
2 by 100 is called 2 percentage. So that is why these whose denominators are called powers of 10 or 10 are called decimal fractions. 2 by 1000 is a decimal fraction. So the answer is 0 0.2 percentages and they are decimal fractions. Let's see tryouts. Is 3 by 4 a proper fraction? Yes, they are proper fraction because the numerator is less than the denominator. Is 6 by 4 an improper fraction? Well, 6 is greater than 4. So yes, they are improper fractions. How do you write 7 by 2 as a mixed fraction? Okay. First you divide 7 by 2. You get 3. 3 multiplied by 2 is 6. 7 minus 6 is 1. So we will use these 3 numbers to write as a mixed fraction. So 3 is the whole number. 1 is the remainder and 2 is the divisor. So the answer is 3, 1 by 2. Are 3 by 6 and 5 by 6 like fractions? Well, they most certainly have the same denominators. So yes, they are like fractions. Are 3 by 7 and 9 by 20 like fractions? Um, I think not because 7 is not equal to 20. They have different denominators. So the answer is they are unlike fractions. Okay, choose the odd man out. Which one is not an equivalent fraction? First, let's take 1 by 9 as the number. When you write another number like 3 by 27, 1 multiplied by 3, 9 multiplied by 3, they get 3 and 27 respectively. So, you can tell that this is an equivalent fraction. So, this is not an odd man out. 6 by 36, 1 by 9 and 6 by 36. You need to cross multiply. 9 multiplied by 6 is 54. 1 multiplied by 36 is 36. So you, this is not an equivalent fraction. 1 by 9 and 9 by 81. You can use equivalent fractions here. 9 multiplied by 9 is 81. And 1 multiplied by 81 is 81. So I will tell that 6 by 36 is the odd man out. Congratulations if you have got this correct. So thank you for watching till the end guys. I will visit you with more videos in this week on fraction addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and fraction comparison also. So stay tuned to that. Until then, goodbye.